very occasion that I'm cooking dinner, I'm not ordering out. I'm cutting up, you know, my salad and I slice my finger. I go and I wrap a band-aid around my finger. Three days later, that cut is actually healed. Now, what actually healed that cut? Was it the band-aid or was it my body? It's your body. My body healed the cut. That's why, I mean, you can take a cadaver. And you know, someone who's passed away, you need to cut them in. You can sew that thing up as tight as you can. Three months later, you can go and cut those stitches and still gonna fall right back open. Again, it's not the stitch that's holding it together. It, well, it's the stitch that's holding it together. It's not the stitch that's keeping it and actually healing it. It's not the actual band-aid around it. It's your body has the tremendous ability to heal itself. Modern medicine, all the things that most people do, um, chiropractic, medicine, dentistry, all those different things, the body heals itself. We just try to get in there and help the body heal itself a little bit better. Well, the dentist goes, whenever they, uh, whenever you're having like an infection, um, you have an ear infection or something like that, they take some, uh, some antibiotics. Antibiotics kill bacteria that are actually growing, but they don't kill the ones that are full grown. Your body actually kills the ones that are full grown. All the antibiotics do is help stop them from growing so fast so that your body has a chance to start putting catch up. Okay, so it's never that your body, that, that the drugs are actually healing you, it's your body that actually is healing itself. And chiropractic just says, okay, we recognize that fact. The body is a self healing organism. The brain controls all functions of all cells at all times. This is not all of the cells some of the time. This is not uh, all of the cells, cells all the time. It's all the cells at all the time. That's what your body, that's what the brain actually controls. So my brain's up here and my toes are down here, so how does that happen? Well, those nerves transmit those messages from the brain to everywhere in your body. Okay? How does it do it? Well, right down on that spine. That spine is like the, uh, it's like a freeway that gets you to where it's got to go as quickly as possible. So it's right down through the spine. Problem becomes is that misalignments, what chiropractors, what we call it, subluxations. Luxation just means popping out of place really, really far, sub meaning less. So it's something popping out of place but not so far that it's completely apart. A subluxation of that spine, the nerves come out and begin, it goes down the central pathway, the highway, right down the back, and then it branches off. It goes out through the spine through a bunch of little holes. And these are those nerves that come out. Subluxations misalignments of that spine interferes with the signal from the top coming down. Okay? Again, body heals itself. Brain knows that. Brain does the best job it can through the spines and the nerves. Problem is, is that roadblocks come out and get in the way and cause that message to get the frequency kind of screws up travel. Well, when that message gets interrupted, dis-ease. Disease, disease, ease, and things are good. What? Things are functioning as they should be. Dis, this means not. So what does disease mean? Your body not working with ease. So if dis-ease happens, which is just less than optimal health. That's all disease is. It's your body not functioning like it should. Your body not in a state of ease. So the healing signals for your brain are coming down. They don't get to where they need to go. So disease happens. Well, what does a doctor or chiropractor do? We look and try to detect where are those problems, where are those roadblocks. We get in there, we detect and correct those subluxations. We've got to get those roadblocks out of the way to get traffic moving. I like that metaphor. Did you get that picture there? So again, we've got to get those roadblocks moved out of the way. What then happens? Nerve signals get through to where they're supposed to go. And what's principle number one? The body is a self-healing organism. So provided it is just like I cut my finger, if there's a roadblock in the way, guess what? You know, that finger's not going to heal itself. We get, the pre we get that roadblock out of the way, message gets through, the body can do what it's supposed to do. Over time, the body has a chance of healing itself. Okay? We put the term in there at the beginning that what we do at Precision Spinal Care, we work in Chesapeake, Virginia, we're about, well, I drive fast, so it's about two hours or so. Um, away was that we're an upper cervical chiropractor, chiropractic office, and there are different types of chiropractic out there um, in, in, in the world.
involved with all, about 200 different types of chiropractic and all have varying different effects for different conditions, all, all of us work in different conditions. What we personally do is we work on the upper cervical area. Upper cervical. What's that? Cervical neck. We work on the area around the upper neck, right up here at the very, very top, right around that brain. Why is that important? Well, what's the, what's the one thing that the brain controls all functions of all cells at all times. Well, I want to get as close to that sucker as possible to make sure that nerve that, that message is actually getting through. Okay? So upper cervical chiropractors work up there at the very, very top. And what I explain to a patient whenever someone comes into our office is you hand yourself something called body balance. The left side versus the right side, the top versus the bottom. How is someone body balanced out? And the good news is there's two possible options, yes or no. Either someone's body is A, in a state of balance, things are lined up like they should be, or B, in A. Things have shifted over and moved into that other category. I believe the key word here is moved. It's not that I was born out of alignment. Your body was born healthy. It was supposed to be healthy. Something along the way came along and screwed up that health. So something happened where you shifted over and moved out of balance. And by that we mean subluxations occur. So now you're living in dis-ease. Your body's not working like it's supposed to. So what do we do? Come into our office, we measure something called body balance. Left versus right, top versus bottom. How is your body balanced out? Two options. Either A, your body is out of balance. Some measurements that we'll look for whenever people come to the office, every single new patient that comes in. And again, it's about two, we do about two hours of testing whenever we're trying to determine if someone's a candidate for what we do in the office. First thing we'll show up is that one foot will actually be pulled up and appear, I can repeat appear, to be a little bit shorter than the other one. The hips get dropped down and become unlevel. And when that whole process happens, that's fine. There we go. Building a little bit of a curved position. Okay. Other option being if someone is actually in balance. So you know, we can see when someone is in balance, legs are flat, legs are even, hips are even, spine is in a relatively straight position where it's supposed to be. Option B, state of balance. Or you're over here, when things have lost that balance, one foot pulled up, hips are unlevel, and now look what happened to that spine. Once it's straight, it's moved over, keyword being moved, into a more curved or twisted position. And again, I am going to get this back and try to go in the route this okay? Oh, whenever you correct something up here at the very, very top, whenever you get the control center that tells your body, should I be in balance or should I be out of balance, guess where it's located? Right up here in the area of that brainstem. That's where I work, where I do. Right up here at the very, very top. And we talked about this a lot more in detail in the office, but the bigger picture would be in that the muscles that control how your spine is shaped, right up here, right down the middle of the back, all the way down, all the way even down to the hips, the control center of where those muscles, how tight should those muscles be, is located right here at the very, very top. So that whenever one side goes into spasm, everything gets pulled up. And I get pressure up here, muscles go to spasm, I end up like this. And now what if my spine down in between? I shift it over and it's locked up down. So I've got problems now in the areas where I should. So when you get things back into place, the hips level out, the spine goes into a more aligned but straighter state, and then the whole body, that alignment, is back to where it should be. What is a little bit different about an upper cervical chiropractor versus a, chiro versus a tr more traditional chiropractor, and there's a lot of differences, but one of the things that we do in the office is we take very, very specific x-rays. These are unlike any x-rays that you ever had before.